This is Neville Douglas from Ashanti Dutch Property Investing. It's the 25th of July 2013. Uh, this is another property that we have just acquired for an investor. Uh, we're just going to do a quick trip through the property. Uh, this is going to be refurbished over the next few months, so we'll come back from time to time to have a look at the property. So what we're going to do is we're going to start a journey um, through the house. We're going to go through the ground floor and then upstairs. Oh, sorry, out into the back garden and then upstairs and, uh, and that's about it really. So I'm just going to take a look back just so we can just check on the roof and, and I'll, I'll talk you through anything that I think you should be concerned about or needs to be looked at and we'll go from there. Okay, right. So looking at the house now, if we take a step back, you can see the roof there. No cycling in the roof there. One or two tiles that are missing, but nothing major. Uh, as we look at the front of the house when we come across the road, you can see there that there is a grid there which points to the fact that there, there is a, a cellar in this house as well so there is something we're not going to go into the cellar today obviously um, but um, there is a cellar in the property um, it's got a textured coating on the outside which has got a 25 year warranty we've just had a look at that as well so that is the outside it just needs a bit of a painting um, the front windows need changing but you know they're okay they can be painted up for now it's a, a double fronted terrace so it's quite uh, a big property and apparently it used to be an off license years and years ago so we're going to go in to the front go through the front room and then we're going to have a wonder so going in through the door we come into the living room um we've got the meter cupboards over there this is what i always talk about anyway um and obviously you've got double bay windows at the front and swinging round. <laughs> oh right, okay. So if you go that way, so as we, we swing around, this is it's all right. The vendors here as well. So we're just having a look around. Um, oh, look at that amazing fireplace there. If anybody wants that, you'll have to let us know, and we'll try and save that for you. We're going to try and save it anyway. It's a beautiful period fireplace. So as we swing around, so you can see this is the living room. It's quite a large living room. I'm not sure of what the size is for it. Um, but I would say it's at least four meters by three meters going from there as we come through into here now we have the uh, this is where the cellar is so to the left but we're not going to go in there but as, as we have a look you can't really see you can see part of the floor is being done there uh, and there's a hatch to the left hand side as you go up but obviously um, we're not going to go in and have a look so as we come through we've got the rear reception as estate agents like to call it and so as we look around you can see there that uh, there's a bit of wallpaper coming off there there is a smell of damp as well so this is going to need a damper of course doing um, as we swing around here again you can see that the signs of damp there on the on the internal walls and we've got a damp here again but this is a nice size room as well I would say it's about three meters about three meters so it's quite a square room you've got sliding doors on there um you got some cracking to the ceiling there as well but i think that's the original um wattle and daub as they used to call it we've got um, a nice big window here so this is a, a nice rear room and uh you know if you look out at the back what we're going to go out and have a look in a minute you'll see that there's quite a large garden as well so coming back from here um, we've got the stairs to the left but we're not going to go up there um, we've got the kitchen, we've got a boiler which I've been told is uh, two years old so um, you know that could be utilised, move back a little bit to, to save a bit of room and, and this is the kitchen, it's the typical galley, uh, galley kitchen that was uh, typical with terraced houses. We have a bit of uh, mould on the ceiling there. Uh, obviously you've seen my video if not on on condensation and mold and <laughs> I've had one or two comments about that so I'm not going to go into that at the moment um, <clears throat> here we've got a, a bit of water ingress uh, and this is where the extension joins onto the house so if we go outside into the garden you'll be able to see the reason that we have the water coming in there is it's been rendered uh, the guttering may be blocked but also sorry I'll come out the Sun a little bit the guttering may be blocked but also the downspout is terminating there as well so that's what's causing that having said that you look along the ridge of the building nothing's dropped it's quite solid as you come outside you can see that there's no evidence of uh, damp proof course um, these houses weren't built with, with damp proof courses in mind they were ventilated uh, years and years ago with the sash windows and and so 
the the modern way of sealing these buildings doesn't really give them a chance for breathing some people might say that's controversial and you know um, it's up to the surveyor if they're going to recommend that there should be a, a damp proof course put within the building I think if a building society does come around they probably are going to recommend that there is one if we zoom in there into the internal wall you can see that uh, the plaster's perished a little bit um, so that would point the, to the fact that um, there is uh, you know water there you can say rising damp because you don't necessarily know where it's going to come from um, once again I think some people might find that controversial um, having said that you know that's something that needs to be is the old um, outside toilet so if anything um, <laughs> you know it's uh, a remnant from the past really but uh, there you go sorry you can't see that because the sun's shining over there again that's been heavily rendered there again so that will need to be sorted out because you will be getting water ingress in there um, this is the garden absolutely massive it doesn't go all the way back if you see where the green shed is it goes back to where the the green shed is as well so that is the extent of the garden and as you can see here the neighbors have extended um, extended the property so you know there'd be nothing stopping the the current vendors if they wanted to from extending their property as well you can see where they've extended uh, extended again and extended again so they're making use of the garden in the sense that you have a large house here having said that the current economic climate whether or not it would be a good idea to start spending money on investing on a, an extension is another thing this is the coal shed the old coal shed I'm sure some of you remember that if you remember what coal used to be before all the uh, mines were closed down um, so we've got coal shed here and another little shed here so it's a big garden a lot of potential and um, we're gonna go inside and upstairs the bedrooms it's been the first time for me as well so I'm just gonna have a look at the bedrooms that we have up here three bedrooms in fact okay so this is the first bedroom this is to the front of the property um, solid enough um, uh, not a lot to say about that really it's a, it's a nice science bedroom also there's central eating in the property as well uh, just needs redecoration really and uh, coming on to the landing you have bedroom number two some work's been done up there before and uh, this is the, uh, the second bedroom as well nice size nice size rooms you could almost do a, a, a multi-let with this one and uh, coming out of there obviously the old baker light switches there so they will need to be replaced rewiring as well okay so a, another bedroom up here as well so this is the third bedroom in this in this in this house so you've got three bedrooms and the bathroom upstairs as well there you can see the extent of the garden how far it goes down uh, and it's quite a wide plot when you look at next doors you can see that's quite narrow whereas this is quite a wide plot so there you have it just going to go into the bathroom and uh, I think that will do it so this is the bathroom here um, it's a good size and uh, yellow bathroom suite but having said that it's a good size bathroom it's a nice house to be honest I like this one in here I think we're gonna have oh there we go the old uh, hot water cylinder and, and the cold water tank up there as well so it's a you know it's a, a major refurb on this particular property having said that it's got a lot of potential and um, it's got that's about it really so as we look around there's radiators here as well so you've got the benefits of that it's just a matter of swapping the radiators around and um, back up to the top of the landing so that will conclude this tour of this property